So, there are two possibilities that you are now watching this video. The first possibility is that you've passed your level 5 exam and you are now ready to move on to level 6, in which case I say congratulations. The other reason might be because you've clicked on this video by accident, in which case I say hello. Now, today is an exciting day for most of you because we are going to be learning about the remaining key signatures which were not cover covered in level 5 RCM. So it's an exciting day. But uh, for some of you, it might also be a somber and tragic day because uh, today is the day you are going to learn about double sharps and double flats. It's a very sad affair. So on that note, let's start with those. Double sharps are a symbol that we use to indicate that the note we are looking at has been raised by two semitones. And I will show you what that looks like in a minute. And a double flat, on the other hand, is the opposite. A double flat uh, looks like two flats right beside each other, and it is a symbol we use to show that the pitch has been lowered by two semitones. Now, before I explain why those exist, let's just look at what they are on the piano. So, when you were a child, you were taught that this is the note F. This is the note F. You also know now that the note above this, this black note, is F sharp. And because you're smart, you also know that the note below this is F flat. So we have F, F sharp, and F flat. Now, believe it or not, with double sharps, we can now go F, F sharp, and this note, formerly known as your friend G, has now become a frightening figure, F double sharp. So if you see the note F on the stave, if there's a sharp beside it, it's F sharp. And if there's an X beside it, you're looking at a double sharp, which is really F, F sharp, F double sharp. Now look, let's look at F flat and F double flat. This is F again, F natural. If we lower this pitch by one semitone, we get F flat. Inharmonically, the note E. And if we lower F by two semitones, this E flat, or D sharp, in the context of the note F, is F double flat. So if you see an F and two flats beside it, visually on the piano, that's this note here, which you can think of as E flat or F double flat. Now, because I've taught this lesson eight quadrillion times, I know the question you're wondering is why do I need to know double sharps and double flats. Why is this note F double flat when I can just simply go about living my life peacefully and call it the note E flat? Why do we need it? The reason, there's a lot of reasons, but the reason for today is to facilitate leading tones in the new key signatures we are going to learn. So last year in level five, you learned that natural minor scales, the seventh scale of degree, is called the subtonic, which is a whole step below the tonic. And by raising that note one semitone, we transform that pitch into the leading tone, which is one semitone below the tonic. And then the minor scale becomes a harmonic minor scale. Now, some scales, in some scales, including the ones we're going to start looking at today, the seventh note is already sharp. In the natural minor scale, the subtonic is a sharp. So of course, to transform that natural minor scale into a harmonic minor scale, we obviously need a new symbol to get that sharp up one semitone even higher towards the tonic, and that's where double sharps come in. Let's look at one of those uh, frightening scales now. Let's look at the scale D sharp minor. 
Now, you need to memorize your new key signatures. D sharp minor, what's the key signature of D sharp minor? We play D sharp in our heads, one, two, three semitones up, we land on F sharp. I know that F sharp major has a key signature of six sharps, therefore, D sharp minor shares that scale's key signature, D sharp minor, also has six sharp. A D sharp minor scale sounds like this. Okay, there's D sharp, it's the tonic, the subdominant is G sharp, the dominant is A sharp, and then the tonic again is D sharp up here. And the seventh note of the scale was the C sharp. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is the subtonic. So right now I'm playing a D sharp minor natural scale. And the subtonic, the seventh note, is a C sharp. Now I need to make this a harmonic minor scale, because let's say that was the question. They want me to play a D-sharp minor harmonic scale. I need to get this subtonic up one semitone to this note. Now, even though it looks like a D on the piano, in the context of this D-sharp minor scale, we're going to call it C double sharp. C double sharp. C double sharp is the leading tone and C double sharp resolves to D sharp. And I've played a D sharp minor harmonic scale. So that's just one example of why double sharps are useful and you're going to need them in grade six because we're dealing with new key signatures. Uh, the three new sharp key signatures you're going to learn are B major, which has five sharps, F sharp major, which has six sharps, and C sharp major, which has seven sharps. The relative minor of B major is G sharp minor, the relative minor of F sharp major is D sharp minor, which we just played, and the relative minor of C sharp major is A sharp minor. Now, in flat land, there's, again, six new scales you have to learn. There's five flats as D flat major, G flat major has six flats, and C flat major has seven flats, which is inharmonically the key of B major. The relative minor of D flat major is B flat minor. The relative minor of G flat major is E flat minor, and the relative minor of C flat major is A flat minor. So you need to know all those scales all their key signatures and the relationship between the majors and minors. And that's your job to go memorize them before you start this week's homework. Now, the last thing uh, that's included in this lesson before I turn off the camera is uh, new scale degree names. Now, in level five, if you remember, we learned about what we learned about um, scale degree one, four, five, and two scale degree sevens. Scale degree one is called the tonic, which is the first note of the scale. Scale degree four is called the subdominant. Scale degree five is called the dominant. And you remember that uh, the seventh note of a minor, of a natural minor scale is called the subtonic. And the seventh note of a harmonic minor scale is called the leading tone. One, two, three, four, five. So that's five scale degrees we learned. We did not learn what the name was for scale degree two, scale degree three, and scale degree six, which is now included in the level six RCM course. So let's do that now. From now on, and for the rest of eternity, you will refer to scale degree two as the supertonic, okay? So if we play the scale of G major, the second note of a G major scale is A. In the context of the G major scale, we can refer to that A as the supertonic of G major. Scale degree three. The grown-up word for scale degree three is called the mediant. Okay, so when you're talking about the third note of any scale, you can refer to it as the mediant. So let's play an A flat major scale. A flat, scale degree two, supertonic scale degree three is the mediant. C is the mediant of an A flat major scale. And the last one, Scale degree six, what's that called? Scale degree six is called the submediant. Don't get that confused with the mediant. Submediant. 
Um, so what's one of our new key signatures? Uh, our new key signature, one of them is B major. Here's a B major scale. Oops. Um, the sixth note of a B major scale is one, two, three, four, five, six. This G sharp. So in the context of a B major scale, this G sharp is the sub median. And that is all I have to say about this lesson. Now, go do your homework. If you've forgotten how to write scales or what the steps were, they're the same as the steps I recited to you in the level five video. So the steps haven't changed. I'm not going to say them again here. All right. So let's go over to the whiteboard together and I'm going to show you how to write these on the stave, including why it's important to use double sharps and double flats. And then you can go do your homework. Let's go do that.